All right, so the TikTok CEO right now is currently being grilled by Congress as they try to figure out what is going on with TikTok, how safe it is, what are they doing with our data, etc. And so a lot of these questions that have been asked are starting to go viral because it's generating a question of if there should be ageism in politics or in other words after some point once somebody hits a certain age in politics should they be shifted out and bring in more newer more younger more in tune people um and, it, and this comes about because as you listen to you know the hearing on TikTok, it is clear that the people who have issues with TikTok either don't use the app or and or are never really on the internet for more than just a google search because a lot of the issues that they're trying to pin on TikTok are issues that have been going on with the internet way before TikTok, way before Instagram, way before MySpace. Tick, the internet has always been a very lawless, very hostile, not meant for the weak environment. It, it's so when you get Congress people coming up here showing video a video that only got a thousand views, talking about this is impressioning people and it has you know a, a congressperson's name and address on it i'm like man you must have never been on twitter long enough or you've never been uh, been on a call of duty or modern warfare lobby where people try to say that oh don't you live here or try to dedox you or anything else like that is not a TikTok issue that is something that is always going on there's always a, a, a dude on the other side of a screen that you're talking crap to saying hey i could pull up your address oh you live in da 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 People get swatted all the time. How do you think they get swatted? They people dedox and find your address. Nothing on the internet. If you look hard enough, anything you want to find is on the internet. That is not a TikTok issue. And so then we get on the point where this guru is asking, like, okay, why does TikTok? What if if I connect to the Wi-Fi, does TikTok have access to my network? Duh. Well, how else would it have access to the Wi-Fi? Your network has a password. You have to put in the password to get connected to the Wi-Fi. Once you are connected to the Wi-Fi, all the apps that use Wi-Fi or apps that you would prefer to use Wi-Fi data over cellular data will be on your network. That is not a TikTok issue. And so I, I'm just really confused on why we have people that don't use the internet nearly to the capacity that they should be using it representing us in this case it just really makes us as a country look really stupid you know just like what was the other thing like when he when the dude didn't understand what age gating is right where he says well how do you guys verify if you know these people are the right age the same way we verify them on facebook twitter instagram twitch kick pornhub you know what I'm saying? Or any other website that asks you what your age is, you put your you put your month in, your date, and your in your year. And as the guy was saying, that's still a um that is still very much a challenge in itself because people lie about their age, which is again not a TikTok only issue. It is a internet issue. People are gonna always lie about their age. And so that's why I'm saying, like, I just don't understand what, why the hate for this app is so strong, other than the fact that they're just pissed off because they don't have their hands in it. And that it is such a huge powerhouse company that they just want their piece of the pie on it. Because if information leaking or information or data leaking was that much of a thing else or Instagram. Or any of these other apps where I, all I, where I can talk about a Swiffer wet jet out loud to my dad or my mom and then go on Facebook and a Swiffer wet jet commercial shows up on my damn Facebook timeline. I've never seen that happen when it comes to TikTok, at least in my personal opinion or in my personal experience. So my thing is, I, I just really feel like we need to get to a point as a country where we really might need to start looking at ageism because there is a clear generational gap between, you know, what's it? Uh... I don't even know what the, I forgot what you guys are called above gen uh, millennials, but then you have millennials and then you have Gen Z. There's like a clear gap between us, them and us. And it, it needs to be somewhere in the middle where people at a certain age come in where they can bridge that gap because trying to teach a 60, 70, 80 year old how to run TikTok, it, you can, you'll see why we need ageism. But regardless, man, I want to know what you guys think. Oh, actually, no, not even just TikTok. Have you ever tried to explain some type of technology to your grandparents or something like that? That's why we need ageism.